Hey, what's up everyone? So a while back I talked a bit about the Brian Wood Star Wars Dark Horse comic run that began in 2013. It was a really weird experiment for Dark Horse in which, if you go back and read some of the earliest marketing materials, it was a conscious sort of attempt to soft reboot part of the comics continuity in the interest of ostensibly bringing on new fans who didn't feel burdened by having to know everything about the EU in order to sort of pick up where this comic was starting. Frankly, if you follow some of the promotional materials and communications about it quickly after that was announced, you can start to see Dark Horse walk some of that back, given how controversial that is, particularly for a licensee like Dark Horse that had played such a pivotal role in not only helping to expand the EU, but to sort of maintain continuity in line with all of its various comics, including all of the other EU storytelling and other mediums. It's consequently left, I think, sort of a bad taste in a lot of fans mouth about the Brian Woods run. I'm very mixed myself. I remember at the time reading the individual floppies as they were coming out and thinking on the one hand while the, the, the cover art was stunning and while the stories were fine as they go that it was definitely treading into what was already fairly established and fairly crowded uh, continuity and just wondering what the heck was going on. Again in a previous video I had noted that even though as a pre-2014 completist I have everything related to the Brian Wood run I had not on the other hand, gone out of my way to hold on to or collect promo materials related to, to everything sort of related to Brian Wood. Recently, I decided that I am just too much of a collector at heart to sort of pass anything up and decided to sort of grab these before they disappear forever. So the first thing we're going to look at here is an 11 by 17 uh, poster given away by Dark Horse at various conventions. Um, not unlike tons of the other 11 by 17 uh, promo posters you've seen in previous videos, obviously highlighting part of the Brian Wood run here. What's interesting about this poster is that on the back, it specifically highlights another Dark Horse project at the time that I'm sure many fans remember, which was an attempt to sort of make, create a comic adaptation of a conglomeration of various earliest versions of um, what the Star Wars was supposed to be, right? So very, it's supposedly very early drafts of what Star Wars was was going to look like in like the mid 70s right which makes in some sense if you think of the brian wood run as not strictly speaking part of mainline eu continuity a poster that promotes just entirely on both sides things that are not really sort of c canon but again as a pre-2014 completist still something that nonetheless is promoting something from that era and so i thought that it was probably worth adding to the collection the other poster that um i think falls into this category is this it's a free comic day poster that you would have seen at any comic shop back in 2012. Um, I've actually in previous videos highlighted a number of free comic book day posters. And the Star Wars connection is down here for this Zach Whedon one shot that was ultimately um, collected in a trade paperback for the Brian Wood comic. I think the fourth volume titled, I believe, Shattered Hope. So yeah, here you go. Um, the Brian Wood run, again, controversial I feel among a lot of fans something that I nonetheless own and collected at the time and have the trade paperbacks and the floppies, but for the longest time was reluctant to get the promo materials. But again, as you guys know, if you've watched this channel long enough, I'm just an obsessive collector who just happens to like the EU. So if there's something to collect, particularly in the way of promoting content pre-2014, or frankly, even post-2014, as future videos will show, look, I'm, I'm all there. So anyway, see you guys next time.